Hello viewers, you are welcome to this video. Today, I want to, to share with you eight excellent ways to become a great mathematician. Eight excellent ways to become a great mathematician. So many people are afraid of mathematics. Yes, they are afraid of mathematics. Mathematics is the easiest course on earth. And these are the eight ways one can follow if one wants to be a great mathematician. If one wants to pass all his or her mathematics examinations. Yes. Now the first point is interest. Interest. To be a great mathematician, you need to love mathematics. You need to have interest in mathematics. You see, there are some people, they like football. Every match they want to watch. Yes. So if you want to be a great mathematician, then you should develop interest in the subject. You should have love for mathematics. Now, the next point is concentration. Concentration. Here, anytime you are involved in any mathematics related activity, your concentration should be 100%. It should be 100%. You can't be solving a mathematical problem and be thinking of other things. Yes, because if you make one mistake, it can affect the entire process, the entire solution. So your concentration should always be 100 percent anytime you are doing mathematics. Now the next point is understanding. Understanding. Yes, this is very, very important. If you understand mathematics, you are always free. You can move freely, do whatever you want to do. Yes. But how will you understand mathematics? To understand mathematics when you are in a class, or wherever you find yourself, ask quality questions about mathematics. Ask quality questions. Don't just ask any question at all. Ask questions that will make you understand concepts better. Now, you have to be creative. You see, there are so many ways of killing a cat. Maybe there's a method for solving a particular problem. You can think of coming out with a new method to solve the same problem. So try to be creative. And then you should also try to think critically. Don't take things the way they are. That this is how this is always done. No. You should think critically. You should always be thinking critically. When somebody tells you something, don't just take it. You should be able to analyze it. Yes, yeah, so this is think critically. You should develop. Uh, critical thinking uh, habits. And then when you understand, there's no way that you have to cram. Or some people will say chew. Yes, you don't have to cram. Don't, don't, don't make that attempt. Some people, they want to commit everything to memory. If you do that, it will not help you. Try to understand. And when you understand, there's no way that you're going to cram. Or you're going to, to, to some people will say chew. Some people, they will let you pour, pass, and then they will forget. It shouldn't be that way. You should try to understand so that you will not be tempted to cram. Okay, the next point is practice. If you want to be a great mathematician, you have to practice. You should always practice. You see, there is a saying that practice makes man perfect. Practice makes man perfect. Yes. So, when you, while you are you have to solve more questions. You have to always solve more questions. If you are a lazy student, there is no way that you will be a good uh, mathematician. Yes, you should always cultivate the habit of solving more questions. You should also have uh, what you have is what we call a list of formulas. You see, there are so many formulas in mathematics. For example, when I ask to find the area of a, of a, a, a circle, you can say pi r squared, pi r squared. When you ask to find the circumference of a circle, you can say 2 pi r or pi d. Do you see it? So these formulas must always be in you. So you should have a book 
for these formulas. When you do that, you are practicing. So when you have the book, every day you can try to memorize the formulas. Because there are some questions, when you are given, you don't know the formulas for those questions you can solve. Now, US, we also have humility. Humility. You see, in life, and in everything you do, you have to be humble. Yes, even God exalts those who are humble. Humble yourself. If you don't humble yourself, if there is something you don't understand, you can't even go to a colleague or a friend who understands. So, humble yourself so that if there is something you don't understand, you show it to your friend, you show it to your teacher, you show it to your, your, your parents or whoever is around. No matter the age, the person can be, you can be older than the person, but it doesn't matter. Because you are humble, you will be submissive enough to, 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 to approach the person to help you. Now I also have carefulness. 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 Now, when you are doing solving any mathematical problem, you've got to be careful. That's why some people say that mass is difficult. Mass is not difficult, but you have to be careful. Because when you make a mistake in one of the steps, it can affect the entire solution. It will make the, the, the final solution totally inaccurate. So you've got to be careful. Yes, that doesn't mean that you should be slow. Some students or some pupils, they are slow. You give them something more to solve, you, you, you will spend hours. No, mass means speed and accuracy. And being uh, fast, you have to be careful as well. Now, you also have determination or encouragement. You should be determined that if my friend or somebody has been able to do it, I can also do it. You should be determined. Yes, so in this case, if you have a role model, yes, if you have heard of a professor in mathematics or somebody that say, oh, I want to be like this person or be better than this person, you should have a role model. I want to be better than this professor of mathematics. And if you do that, it will help you. And you should always encourage yourself. You should always say that, Mass is simple or easy for me. Yes, I've been telling my students that anytime they, they are giving any 12 questions, they should just say simple. When they say simple, the question will humble itself and you'll be able to solve it. Yes, so you should tell yourself, just tell yourself that mass is simple, mass is easy for me. And if you do that, there's no way you cannot be a good uh, or great mathematician. And the last one is that teaching. Now, the best way to learn a subject is to teach it. Yes, the best way to learn a subject is to teach it. You can teach your police, you can teach your friends, you can teach anybody. Do you see, when your police or friends come to you with a mathematical problem and you can help them, don't hesitate to help them. Yes, because the best way to learn a subject is to teach it. You should learn how to communicate in mathematics. And when you do that, you will become a great mathematician in future. Yes, viewers, so these are the eight excellent ways to become a great mathematician. Yes, uh, those of you who have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you, are, you can you have to subscribe to, to the channel. Yes, so that every time I upload a new video, you will get it. Yes, when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification button so that anytime I, I upload a new video, you'll be alerted or notified. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much.